So I literally mentioned this in uh, my video talking about the plant versus true X fight. I talked about how I would love to see a fight between David Benavides and Kale Plant. And right now we are currently looking at the Instagram page of David Benavides. Go follow him at Benavides300. And he recently posted up this photo right here. This photo of him, Plant versus Benavides, with the caption, "Can we make this fight? Can we make this happen? 2021 for you, or you're gonna keep hiding like a little bitch at Caleb Plant? Let's give the fans what they want to see. Yes, please." Oh my goodness. Yes, please let's see this fight. Oh my god. Uh, at least we have somebody calling out someone. You I mean Caleb Plant uh, is not really calling out anybody. Like it's not really like after the post like in the post fight interview after the Truax fight, he didn't really, you know, say anything. Like he didn't want to say like he didn't want to call out Canelo. Canelo, you're next, bitch, or you know, he he's he's not really calling out anybody and we have Benavides here you know calling him a bitch and all that I like it I like it you know try to entice the fans try to entice the other fighter to hopefully making this fight hopefully I mean as we all know Caleb Plant just recently fought literally less than 24 hours ago as I'm making this video against Caleb Truax easy win easy W complete shout out 120 108 um, Plant uh, he, he needs to fight somebody at least on his level and David Benavides is definitely on his level David Benavides is also uh, one of the best fighters at 168 uh, definitely up there along with Caleb Plant top 5 uh, former champion for the WBC got uh, lost the belt the first time around for testing co uh, positive for cocaine and lost it again when he was overweight you know uh, if he keeps his mind in the game if he stays focused he should be good but he's a spectacular fighter, man. David Benavides is a spectacular fighter. Very exciting fighter. One of the most exciting fighters out there in the world today. 23-0. 20 wins count by way of knockout too. Right now, they're talking about him fighting Ronald Ellis in March. But, but yeah, if they can make this fight in the summertime, then that would be pretty cool. Kale Plant complained about uh, some hand injury uh, during the Truax fight. Um... If it's not too serious, if they can make this fight happen in the summer, then shit, let's see it. You know, because it seems to me like both fighters are waiting on Canelo. And Canelo, he has, he's busy, man. He's, he's fighting twice in the next few months. He'll be fighting against Abney Yeldrum next month. And he'll be fighting um, Billy Joe Saunders in May. So, Benavides and Caleb Plant can fight each other soon. And the winner of this fight can fight Canelo in for a big paycheck in september but you know only in the perfect world right only in the perfect world it's a spectacular fight i, I would love to see this fight i think it's an it, it needs to happen it needs to happen and um hopefully it happens soon hopefully do i think caleb plant is hiding like a bitch nah i feel like he's more like I'll I'll wait. That's what it looks like. And Benavides, you know, it seems like Benavides seems more like he's the one who's really trying to push for these big fights. So, and I like it. I like it. Anyway, I apologize if I sound tired. I'm uh, I'm I'm actually really sleepy right now. I came home from work and I could use some sleep. <laughs> anyway, let's see it. But I don't think we'll be seeing this fight until both fighters. The only time I see this fight actually happening is until both fighters finally fight Canelo, which probably will be in the later part of 2022. I think 2022 we will be seeing this fight. But we'll, we'll see. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.